Hi guys, I'm Faith. And I'm Jermaine. Today is part two of our series where we are talking about our first self-storage facility. Um, in this series, we're going to talk about transitioning ownership, and then we're going to talk about some of the key projects that we manage in those first crucial six months of ownership. So after we purchased the facility, we had to transition ownership pretty quickly. We chose to move to the Eastern Shore of Virginia where the facility was located for six months. This was our first self-storage facility. We'd never owned and operated one before. Um, the prior owner who we purchased the facility from, she ran the office herself um, three days a week with some help. We saw it as an opportunity to step in her shoes temporarily uh, so we could learn um, A to Z how the business works and how to run the self-storage office. We already knew that we did not intend to live permanently on the Eastern Shore and we were um, looking to do some traveling. Going in, we had the vision of putting in systems and processes so that we could manage the facility um, from many states away. And in moving to the Eastern Shore, we moved from Richmond, Virginia, which is a city. Uh, the Eastern Shore is very rural. Uh, so we chose to live in a little small beach community called Cape Charles. And Cape Charles is a really nice quaint town. Uh, we moved out there during the winter, so we didn't get to enjoy summery beach weather, but um, it was a perfect home base for us uh, while we were out there on the shore for six months. One of the things that we wanted to do prior to closing on the facility and transitioning into the new ownership was we wanted to transition the revenue management system the previous owner was using into the newer version, cloud-based version uh, management revenue system for the facility. We decided to go with Storage Commander. That was the same platform that the previous owner was using to manage the, the revenue of the facility. We just wanted to upgrade it to their version of five. So we ended up doing that um, prior to closing, kind of getting that set up in the background. And then once we closed on the property, we completed the transition of going into their cloud-based version. It allowed us to easily manage the facility remotely once our time in Cape Charles ended. So the next item on the list was that we wanted to complete in the first six months of transition ownership was upgrading the security cameras throughout the facility. The previous owner did have some security cameras um, that allowed some visibility, but there were some angles and certain, certain spots within the facility that we felt like there that was needed. And even some that she even pointed out that she wished that she had because she had an incident that happened um, uh, prior to us closing on the facility. So we end up um, taking some of those things into consideration that she pointed out to us, how a security um, installator um, to install cameras throughout. Also with the upgrade of the security cameras that we were installing allowed us to be able to view the cameras from our phone. So as we mentioned, this project, uh, we wanted to make sure that once we left the Eastern Shore, we were able to manage the facility remotely. And one way of doing that is being able to peek inside and see what is going on um, at your facility at any given time. And so upgrading to security cameras that allowed us to um, view the footage from our phones remotely from anywhere in the country um, was a great benefit to us. One of the next items on our list that we wanted to complete within six months uh, was installing RV and boat parking spots. But before we could actually install them, we had to get approval from the Planning and Zoning um, Board at Accomack County. And this required us actually having to fill out an application and then Faith and I actually having to go up in front of the board and present our case and for them to approve it and allow us to start offering up RV boat parking for our tenants. Once that process was done, which took about three months, we ordered the parking blocks and then Faith and I um, installed five at the spot um, where the designated spots that the county approved for us. That was done prior to us completing our stay at the Eastern Shore. So operational improvements were important while we were out there for six months so that we could make sure that the facility was running smoothly. Um, some of the things that we did in those first six months, we did implement some rent increases 
We had some tenants who hadn't seen a rent increase for maybe 20 plus years. So we did start to gradually um, attack those furthest behind units uh, with a rental raise. We also did begin to enforce late fees. Uh, so the prior owner, she was very organized and really ran the facility well, but she was a little lenient on late fees. And so uh, we um, became more strict and with enforcing those late fees. And then another thing that we did was there were two large 14 by 45 units that were at the facility. I mean, at the time when we purchased it, they were vacant and they had been vacant for maybe about six months or so before we closed on the facility. So we were aware that there was a lot of square footage that was not being utilized. When we looked at the size of the units and started to look around on the market to see if there were any comparable units, we saw that they really were not. Um, so we talked about whether to um, change the unit size so that we could more easily rent them out. Um, but we, what we landed on was lowering the rate. Um, so the prior owner had the units at a high commercial rate because before there was a commercial tenant who used it for warehouse storage. But once they moved out, there was really there was really not many comparable tenants on the shore that could use those units in that same way. So with us lowering the rent rate, we now were attracting um, more of your residential tenants who may just want um, larger storage space. And we were able to successfully rent out those units at the lower price point. One of the items that we wanted to do to improve operational efficiency was actually getting rid of a bartering system um, the previous owner had with one of her tenants. Um, the arrangement was he would um, cut the ditch um, for her. In return, she would offer him um, free uh, rent at the facility. So what we actually did was get in contact with a maintenance lawn care company um, that will come out there and actually cut the grass for us, but also to um, uh, take care of the ditch issue. And so we had to talk to the tenant, let him know that we were going to get rid of the bartering system there and he had to become a paying tenant of ours. Also, what helped us making the transition of the new ownership um, to the facility was continuing to work two days out of the week um, at the facility. The previous owner, um, she did work um, two days a week at the facility. And so Faith and I, when we closed on the facility, we decided to continue at least working two days a week so we didn't disrupt um, business starting off, but to also allow us the ability to learn the business. And in working at the facility, um, as Jermaine mentioned, we did learn a lot about our customer base uh, since we were seeing them and talking to them directly. So that's, I guess, heading to the facility now. And I guess for me, yeah, the main focus is the interview this morning that we have at this at 11. And also we completed our first auction yesterday uh, where we had, you know, tenants who were in default and we had to unfortunately auction their unit. It definitely helped with working on our customer service skills, you know, as issues and challenges would arise some from time to time. We did learn a lot about the state lien laws and the process that you have to go through um, if you have a delinquent uh, unit or a delinquent tenant. And we also learned a lot about just how to use the software um, that was in the office. Um, a lot of, for us, for self-storage, we rely a lot on our software management program and just learning that, working in it on a frequent basis helped shorten that learning curve for us when it came to um, using that software. Now, we did not intend to work in the office forever, but at the same time, we were looking to hire good staff. So we did, within the first six months, we hired a store manager and also a part-time store um, assistant. And um, having those two positions filled within that first six month period really allowed us to feel comfortable with moving away from the shore and further managing the facility remotely. Um, there were things that we knew that would come up where having boots on the ground, so to speak, would be critical for us in managing the facility remotely. So we were blessed to find two wonderful 
um, staff while we were out there on the shore. And the, I can tell you the Eastern shore has some slim pickings, you know, when it comes to um, hiring good staff. So we really felt blessed to find two really, really good staff members while we were out there uh, for those first six months. All these items that we mentioned to you in this video allowed Faith and I to comfortably um, feel like we had the facility in good hands with the hiring of the um, the new the store manager and the store associate um, and just all those items that we end up completing. So if you like these videos, please subscribe or leave a comment below so that we know more of what you would like to see in the future about our investing journey. Until next time.